Growing up on the East Coast, March and April are generally rainy and dreary. So most often, Good Friday also comes with this type of weather. Our house had a tradition of quiet time from 12 to 3, so I never remember Good Friday being very good. I just wanted to skip right over the day and head right into the fun festivities and celebration of Easter. I imagine a lot of us feel that way. But without focusing on Jesus's final hours, how can we appreciate the enormity of the sacrifice that he gave for us? Jesus came to this earth and he knew that this was his purpose. In John 15, 13, Jesus says, greater love has no one than this, to lay, one down, to lay down one's life for one's friend. Jesus knew that he would suffer on this dark day, and he did. In Matthew 27 through 31, we have but a brief glimpse of his pain and suffering. They stripped him. They twisted a crown of thorns and they set it on his head. They mocked him, they spit at him, they beat him, and then they led him to the crucifixion. How is there any love greater than that? He did this because that's how much God loved the world. It is in Jesus' facing and conquering death that we are given freedom. He died so we get a chance at living the life that he designed for us. He shed his blood and became separated from God so he could shed the burden of our sin and we could remain with God forever. He did this, he died for us because that's how much he loves us. And that certainly is a good thing. So maybe it is a good Friday.